it's tough enough to build one first-class tennis program before leaving to build another one in the same state 50 miles down the road. But that's exactly what Jerry Simmons did after building a solid winner at then Southwestern Louisiana. He moved to LSU and built a winner that advanced to the brink of an NCAA championship. But let's have some of Jerry's players discuss what made his teams good and made Simmons such an amazing winner in college tennis. He, he's the greatest recruiter there is. He was, he was after us for a long time. So it was, uh, but coming to Lafayette, once I saw Lafayette, that was it. I knew I was gonna sign. It's, uh, the people are unbelievable. Look how many of us haven't left. You know, there's a lot of us that aren't from here and we're old men now and we're still in Lafayette. The biggest thing he did was, as far as, he had us out in the community. Everybody knew us personally. So you wanna go watch people that you know personally. And that was, that was a huge deal. We were always out. We'd, we'd go to women's league matches. You know, we were, we were out in the community all the time and it made it so much fun because you get ready to play. You don't wanna play in front of nobody. You know, so we had, we had huge crowds. We had no referees. So it was worth watching. We tried to make it. If they were gonna come watch us, take their time to come watch us, our attitude was we're gonna give 100% and they're gonna see something. You know, it's gonna be worth their time. We all wore the same uniform and um, we, we, we always were given the, the best equipment. And uh, uh, you know, he was just, he, he lived tennis. He totally focused on his tennis team. That was his family and uh, he was very proud of us. He followed uh, the John Wooden Pyramid of Success where we, we were working really hard to improve our bodies and our conditioning um, and to, to equal the playing field with all of the great players uh, from the other teams of the California teams and the Georges that had already won the NCAAs and had the great players and the great recruits. So the only way we could catch up was to condition and for us to work on our games harder. It started with Coach Simmons. He always recruited some of the hardest working people in the country and I felt like that carried over into our practices and our work ethic, you know, on a daily basis and things like that. So, yeah, we were definitely one of the hardest working teams and it showed. He was like a second father to me. Uh, he was a mentor to me. And I felt like that, not only the practices helped me, but him making sure that I was well prepared for each and every match and talking about just not just about tennis, but other things in life as well, was a huge inspiration for me. 